Let us look how the receiver operates in combination with the transmitter AG105. Let's take a closer look at the transmitter AG105. It consists of three parts. Info panel on the back side of the cover, battery case with extraction handle, control panel with buttons and LED indication. On the back side of the transmitter there are two connectors. One for the wires and one for external power supply connection. Rubber covers protect the connectors from dust and water. Let's look at the back side of transmitter's cover. Here we can see the symbols used to indicate different values on the lower part of the transmitter. There is also buttons description at lower left corner. Please read these instructions carefully before using the transmitter. Warning: Make all the connection operations with the transmitter turned off. Connecting the turned on transmitter can damage the operator and the device itself. Let's move on to the bottom part of the open transmitter. Here we have battery case with handle, LED indicators and two digit display with control buttons. Let us connect the generator and turn it on. Connect the wires to transmitter, to the utility and to the grounding rod providing the return current. For example, we are connecting the transmitter directly to the cable on our test field. Turn on the transmitter by pressing on-off button. Note, when turning on the transmitter you have to select the type of power source, accumulator or battery. To do that you have to hold mode button while turning on the transmitter and set the desired power source using left and right arrow keys. Set the desired frequency by pushing mode button and choosing the desired value with arrow keys. Set the desired transmission mode, continuous or pulse. Press start stop button. Wait for the transmitter to heat up. If you want to change the voltage, you can set its value with arrow keys on the transmitter after it has heated up.
That's it, your transmitter is ready for the operation. After that, you have to set your receiver for the operation. Turn on the receiver by pressing on off button. Open the menu by shortly pressing the same button again. Choose the frequency menu and set the same frequency as in the transmitter using arrow keys. Confirm your setting by shortly pressing on OFF button. Then set the generation mode in the receiver. Go to the corresponding menu and choose the mode with arrow keys. Don't forget to confirm your choice. That's it, your receiver is also ready for the operation. The operation with the transmitter is slightly different from receiver-only operation. First of all, you can start locating the cable right near the transmitter. You have to move several meters forward, 3 or 5 meters. If you don't have the opportunity to connect directly to the located utility, you can use transmitter's built-in antenna. All you need to do is turn on the transmitter without any wires connected to it. You have to press mode button and switch to antenna mode by choosing LC with arrow keys. Do not forget to place the transmitter over the utility, as it is shown on the picture here.